Let's talk for a minute about invasive species. The United States was originally biologically diverse. In our attempts to control everything, we introduced a bunch of invasive species. They're on accident or on purpose. These trees are completely choked out by vines. This is not a symbiotic relationship. These vines will eventually kill the trees. This is the Soapstone Trail in the Patapsco Valley State Park. And it is so covered in weeds that we've got to turn around and go back the way we came because it's just getting impossible to get through. You see this in the south a lot with kudzu, which is a very pretty vine, um, but unbelievably powerful. It just, it'll take down the mightiest oak. But the brush and stuff is so thick here, it's unbelievable. A lot of it's covered with thorns. It looks like little wild roses, kinda. Sometimes there's, um, raspberries and such. Something that looks similar to a grapevine. I'm enough of a biologist to know that this isn't good. I'm not enough of a botanist to know what this crap is. We think we're so smart. Welcome to the country. A place where you end up behind a guy bunch of hay bales. It's literally raining hay. Of course it's not the worst thing. I've behind, been behind trucks throwing rocks and everything else. So hay's not so bad, I don't guess. Small town America where small farms make the world go round. Summer day, a nice scenic drive, clear blue skies. And yes, we're going to stop and clean the bugs off the window. A long drive today, and it's lovely outside. I'd like to be able to actually see it. So I've got to get all the bug guts from the drive down off my window.
my cue to start singing country roads. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky, misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye, country roads, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home. We're driving on Route 340 through Page County, Virginia, and I come across this railroad bridge, which I think is fantastic. Hard to tell if it's still in use. It it doesn't appear to be blocked on either side, so that's usually a good indicator that it is actually still in use. Also, we are following some smart ass in a Toyota Corolla. The prevailing rate of speed on this road is between 60 and 70 miles an hour, and this person is choosing to travel between 40 and 55. and then suddenly match the brakes, causing this uh, Acura in front of me to also match their brakes. Speed limit sign says 55. We are currently doing 44 miles per hour. You, my friend, get today's asshole award. Ooh, look, another train bridge. These are really tall. And an ass hat in my lane. So I will take this moment to make a public service announcement. When you are traveling on a two lane highway, if you look in your rearview mirror and you see traffic building up behind you and people following you very closely, it's not a bad idea to find a place to pull over and let the traffic and the people pass. Jamming up traffic and stomping your brakes and declaring to yourself inside of your little crappy car that you somehow have rights superior to the rest of us is pointless. There's a nice wide shoulder on this road. Get out of the way. We have lots of crossings of something. See? That's how big of an asshole you are. You're making people pass you on a double yellow. Alright, so we're now entering Warren County, Virginia. I can't see what's under us. I presume it was a body of water, but it was just too far down and too thick into the trees, I could not tell. And our Corolla sped up and now he's slowing down again. This is going to be a long drive. We are driving over Chesapeake City, Maryland. Chesapeake City Bridge. And it is extremely high.
truck traffic. And that was Route 213 northbound. I'm going to drive over the Thomas Haydom Memorial Bridge. I was hoping we'd have some kind of view, but it's not looking like we will. We are in, um, hell, I don't know where we are. Near Haverty Grace, Maryland. My little short car. Can't see over concrete barriers. I guess this is the Susquehanna River that we are crossing. looking congested over there and the railroad bridge there's a railroad bridge on the other side as well which is even less visible because we're short <laughs> <laughs> 